Are you curious about bodies, pleasure, and possibilities? And what about curious about what others are up to on the planet when it comes to pleasure, sex, and play? Have you considered what pleasure can do for your life, your body, and your bank account? Do you know something magical, delightful, and out of this world orgasmic is not only possible for you, but totally available to you? If you're ready to be the magical, sexual, sexy beast you know you can be, and you just need the tools to get there, you're in the right place. Now, here's the host of The Pleasure Zone, sensual movement artist, relationship, and sex alchemist, Milica Yelenich. Welcome, 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 my sweet little pleasure seekers. Do you ever hear how you describe yourself and then you're like, wow, I just gave myself, I give myself a lot of clout, sex alchemist, but I love that term. So I just go with it and I'm like, I'm going to be that. I am going to embrace that. So whatever that means, um, I, every once in a while, I hear certain things that I've written about myself or said about myself. I'm like, wow, that was an interesting trip I was on that day. So yes, good stuff. So today, as every day on the pleasure zone, we talk about pleasure, even when we're talking about abuse, we're talking about getting out of it so we can have pleasure. So the target is always pleasure. That's the target. And today is no different. Today is what is orgasmic living anyway, with Patty Alfonso. And if you guys don't know who she is, she's been on the show before. That was like, at least 45 million minutes ago. I was trying to calculate at one point how many minutes it was and I gave up, but I love calculating. So it could have been 45 million minutes ago. It was several years ago. I think it was in 2014, maybe 2015. It's been a while and we are back. And Patty Alfonso is, you know, I, I was going to say, I, I don't know, this word was coming to my mind, but I, I don't know why I was going to say raucous. I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to say you're that you're raw and delicious stuck together. You're like raucous. And we're working with that. And today uh, we're gonna be talking about different things that would actually create your life as orgasmic living. Because a lot of us I'm sure have misconceptions about what that is. Does that mean we need to walk around masturbating 24 seven, Patty? Like, what is that? And, and can we, and like, how do we do that while doing taxes at the same time? Like, how does this work together? So I want to, uh, I want to give you guys a little intro into who, who is this Patty Alfonso, if you've never heard of her, or if you didn't see her on Netflix, because you might have. So Patty is, and you might not have even realized you saw her on Netflix, but she was, and she can talk about that a little bit herself. So uh, Patty is the orgasmic body whisperer. Doesn't that just sound like, now there's a great title, right? Master facilitator, renowned coach, best-selling author. Patty is sought after motivational speaker, writer, and teacher across the globe who has notably changed the lives of thousands. Patty has spoken in front of royalty, government officials, thought leaders, and influencers around the world. She also has something called pole dancing for consciousness, and orgasmic body love experience, which are methods that are cutting edge approaches to transforming the lives of her clients, helping them move beyond pain and limitation by accessing the amazing power of the body to heal itself. So you can Im imagine that I'm super excited to talk to Patty because I'm all about body as well, body work and pleasure and like, so it's such a great fun conversation to be having. So the work that uh, Patty does, is like a process that helps people discover how to improve their mind and body, dramatically enhancing their physical being, business careers, and, and what else? So much more, I'm sure, uh, and embrace living their lives orgasmically. So we're going to be chatting with Miss Patty here all about what is orgasmic living, getting some tips and tools on how to have that, and a little bit about these things that she does. How do you consciously pole dance and all that, right? So let's start with like, what is orgasmic living anyway? Oh my gosh, that was like, first of all, your intro is like the best intro I've ever heard. I was like, that's amazing. And I've also had those moments where I read my bios and I'm like, damn, I'm impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say like living orgasmically includes being able to acknowledge yourself and the things that you've created in your life and really owning those things. And I'm digging the Rosh's 
Rosh's title that you're adding here. So mm -hmm. that is amazing. Thank you for a beautiful introduction. Um, and thank you for having me again. I think last time we talked about pole dancing for consciousness together. Yeah. So I'm super excited to be back here in this new energy and, and you know, all, all things. So what is orgasmic living? And I like to put really, like, what is it really? Um, Cause I think a lot of us definitely, especially because of the very word orgasm, we're thinking, oh, do I need to walk around like masturbating all the time? Or is this, you know, like, what is this? And I like to kind of take the energy of orgasm, get present with it in the bedroom and then pull it out of the bedroom and then put it back in the bedroom to remind ourselves of what we're talking about. So let's do that. So when you are having an orgasm, let's just tap into that energy really quickly. And when you tap into that energy, it's like, for me, the energy of being completely out of control right? It's a moment in time where you have no control over your physical body, right? You're just like in total bliss and pleasure. It's a moment where you are totally aware of all of the sensations that are going through your whole body, right? Hopefully, hopefully that's what's going on when you're having an orgasm. <laughs> and so if we took that energy of being out of control of like, total pleasure, total like full body sensations. And we put, and we pulled it out of the bedroom and we looked at this energy through our life. Like, what would that be like to totally navigate this insane world that we live in being totally present with everything that is going on around you? being in total pleasure, no matter what is happening and to really be out of control, right? To get out of the box and out of the, the limitations and the judgments and just to like take charge of your life and be present in your life and with your life and with your body with total pleasure. So that's kind of where totally we out start. Of control and total yeah. pleasure. So we're like living in these very strange times for those of you who are like listening live we've got a lot of um this is you know march 1st of 2021 yeah, we're still yeah. living through what we're calling the weirdest pandemic since 1918 right so yeah. um i'm curious what is it that you can say to people about how we take that orgasmic energy out of the bedroom and into the rest of our lives when all this stuff is going on yeah you so know, people was, might be like, but it's impossible, Patty. How do we do right. it? You know what? It was really interesting uh, experiencing the pandemic through this lens of living orgasmically, because as all of us have experienced, it's like all of the things that we were used to doing uh, for our bodies, for ourselves, for our lives, like all of a sudden disappeared. Right. So let's just acknowledge that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then when that happened, it was like a slowly disappearing. So like, okay, well, some of the things that I do to like reconnect with myself and with my body are like getting massages, going out in nature, taking walks. And so when all of that was removed, I had to get really creative. I was like, wow, now what am I going to do for myself and for my own self-care and for my own nurturing to, to make sure that I maintain that energy in my life and with my body. And it was, you know, it was, it was tricky. It was really interesting, but it also provided the space. And this is where being out of control comes in. It provided a space for me to get really creative with how the, the new tools that I was going to have to discover because all of my old tools or my, my other things were not available. Like what, what am I going to have to create now? And that's part of that energy of, of, of being totally out of control and being totally like just present with everything and, and making different choices. You know, when we live orgasmically, it's, it's about always creating your life as greater than it is now. And to do that, you have to be creative and out of control because if you're doing the same thing over and over and over again, that, you know, what does Albert Einstein say? It's like <laughs> the definition of insanity. Yeah. And so that whole experience was 
an amazing opportunity to get really even more present with myself and with my body. And that's also part of living orgasmically. It's just total presence with your body. Isn't that beautiful? I, being totally present with our bodies, what a concept, because when I work with people, it's amazing to me to see how many people don't realize they have a body. That's usually one of my first questions to people when they come, because I do a lot of work with people for their health, mainly that's kind of like yeah. the thing uh, that I do is mostly health oriented, although I love talking sex and I always throw that in with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so one of my first questions is, do you know you have a body? And most of them are like, what? Like you actually have a body. Yeah. 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 The same way you have a t-shirt, you have a body. And that's kind of like a mind blowing concept to most people. They're like, mm -hmm. well, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah. You have one. So what are you going to do with this? Yeah. It's an asset. Yeah. You value it. Yeah. A hundred percent. And like, not only um, do you have a body, but also the way that we treat our bodies, right? It's also sort of this thing that we have to kind of deal with, you know, and sometimes it's at the bottom of the list of things that I, that I need to handle in my life. You know, well, let me go to over here and do this and then I'll take care of my body or let me go, you know, I got to build my business or, you know, let me make some money first and then I'll invest in myself and in my body. When, and I think that, look, when the pandemic and there was nothing open and nothing available, all you had was you and your body, right? That was like down the basics, you and your body. How are you going to take care of you? And how are you going to take care of your body? And 100%. so, you know, it's, I, I also work with a lot of women and, and it's, it's equally as fascinating and amazing. And I love it. And equally as frustrating you know, because I just want to be like, this is like the thing that you really need to be paying attention to. If you could focus on this, you know, getting present with your body and living orgasmically, all that other stuff works out. It's all going to work out. But this is where the real work is in terms of diving deep into our own selves and our own bodies and, and what is pleasurable for you and what is going to be pleasurable for your body and what is going to be a pleasure filled life for you. Mm -hmm. It's so important. I'm so glad I, I've been living this lifestyle for so long because the pandemic was challenging, but at the same time, you know, I had so many tools available and just, it's just a way of living. So it was challenging and I was okay, you know, cause I was like, all right, I got me and my body. That's all I really need. Let's do this. Now what, you know, that's beautiful because, um, so many people were afraid of losing their bodies during this. And the more we acknowledge, yeah. Hey, I got me in my body. Now what can I yeah. create? I'm curious, um, you mentioned being present with your body a lot. And I mentioned that a lot too, and being present with your body, being present with other bodies for you, what are some of the things you personally do to get present with your body? Um, so many things, and it depends on what's going on in any given moment, which one of these tools I use. But for me, first and for foremost is, is sensual feminine movement and pole dancing that mm -hmm. is a hundred percent my go-to and to, to just really dive deeply into the brilliance of my body. Movement is extremely important. And for those of you listening, whether it's sensual feminine movement or yoga or working out or the gym or running or walking, whatever it is that works for you, movement. Um, I'm doing a lot of breath work right now to get really present with, with my body. And that's been amazing to just be with the breath and allow the breath. I, I work this way with my clients a lot too, where I allow the breath to invite my being into my body, right? Allowing the breath coming from the body because it's the body that's actually breathing, mm -hmm. right? If I, if yeah. I was just a soul being without a body, I don't need to breathe. You just are, no right? No lungs or oxygen so, required, no. Yeah, so the breath, working with the breath in a way that invites my being to dive deeply into my body. And um, always like, thank goodness, massages are opening back up 
and being in nature, I moved out to the country. So that's been really amazing. A lot of communing with trees and birds and <laughs> we have horses in the backyard. So that's been a really nurturing thing as well for me and for my body. Um, you know, trying to, having, being an entrepreneur and having a home-based business, it's really important to, you know, you'd spend the time on the computer and do what you have to do and get away from the computer and be out in living and with life and engaging with, you know, I mean, for me right now, horses and squirrels and birds and, and all of that. So <laughs> that's awesome. I have, um, I, I don't, you probably don't even know where I live, but I do, I live on about 45 acres of land. So I have a lot of mm -hmm. uh, bush and trails and things. And right outside my office window is we have bird feeders, right? So every day uh, I am like, I get to go to my computer in the morning and I look out and we have these blue jays right now. They're like the size of chickens, which is unreal. Wow. Like these giant. Wow. And I spent about an hour last week, which is was out of control for me um, because I'm usually such a doer and I spend an hour being out of control staring at birds which was yeah. incredibly nurturing and it was fascinating because my body had had a lot of stress and I noticed that as I was watching these birds the stress was just leaving my body some yeah. people like will meditate and they'll you know they'll do chants and they'll do um, visualizations and all of that's completely great like whatever works for you I found that that day just happened to be staring at birds, not even bird watching. I wasn't like seeking out birds. They were just showing up and <laughs> doing things, right? So I think you can find ways, like Patty was saying, there's different ways every day. You might find a way that connects you yeah. to your body. You might be having a coffee and just being so with the coffee that you're like, the smell of it, you're using mm. all of your senses are engaged. Your mm. body is like excited by it. So whatever excites your body it's almost like it's a weird thing it's like your body gets excited and relaxed simultaneously mm -hmm. is how I kind of like describe for me what presence is I'm both very like woo and then I'm also like so very there at yeah. the same time so orgasmic living can be defined by everybody in totally different ways for sure I was just so gonna say to that play with totally. like, yeah like yeah. what is that right what is it really so that's the question we're looking at today uh, you are listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back after this commercial. Are you secretly a voyeur, wondering what's going on in other people's sex lives? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual evolution? Are you interested in people who are pioneers of different sexual and pleasurable practices? Lean in now with Melitza Yelenich where she will entice you and your body to know your own Pleasure Zone. On the Pleasure Zone radio show with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich, you'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for the Pleasure Zone with Melitza every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is The Pleasure Zone with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich. To participate in the program today, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email, info at melitzayelenich.com. Now, back to the program. 
welcome back my sweet sweet pleasure seekers today i have a guest patty alfonso and if you don't remember her it's because you're not an avid listener but you can go back there are over 300 shows you can listen to so you'll find an episode that we did many moons ago many million minutes ago and you can listen to that today we're actually talking about what it is orgasmic living really and I have a few other questions for Patty because she does a lot of things that would be the energy of orgasmic living. And just before this last commercial break, we were talking about what are some things you can do to have your body become present so you can be present with your body in your body. And one of the things Patty mentioned was some of the, the movement work that she does. And I'd love to hear more about Patty, like, what is it that inspired you to start doing pole dancing for consciousness, which sounds interesting, right? It's like, we know about pole dancing. We know that people do it and they can make some sweet cash doing it or not. And there can be a lot of trauma involved. But I'm wondering, like, what inspired you to say that pole thing? That's for me. <laughs> um, gosh, what a great question. There's so many things I want, I want to talk about. So for me, it was, I was in energy healing school at the time, and we needed to add a movement to our daily self-care and our daily practice. And I'm sure that my, you know, teachers thought that I was going to like pick yoga or Qigong or something like that, but no, I ended up in a pole dancing class and I knew that there was an energy that I wasn't allowing my body to have at the time. And this was like 2007, right? I knew that something was missing, but I didn't know what, I didn't know what it was. And when I landed in my first pole dancing class, I was like, Oh, that, like that, that, that delicious feminine, sexual, sensual energy that is innately available to the feminine body, to all bodies. But we're talking, I'm, I work specifically with, with, feminine bodies, female bodies, women that identify as, you know, feminine creatures. And I just, I just knew that I had to, and my body was like that, right? I wish that I could say, oh, I had a little bit of shame because it was a pole and this and that, but no, I was all in from my very first introduction class. When I saw it, I was like, yes, I need to learn how to do that. And it was in my own personal work, right? Reawakening my body, reawakening my femininity, reawakening my sensuality. Because the thing is that in my family, none of that was really allowed. And like, we really all just function from the head up and nothing about sex or sensuality or anything like that was ever talked about or ever discussed. It was like a no, no. And so it was a big energy that I had cut off from my body and from myself and from my life. And that is really what started my journey, right? To living orgasmically and working with women and empowering women. Um, and I remember, I remember after my first couple of classes, I went back to energy healing school and I was in a class learning and I started doing body work and I was like, the difference, right? Once I had unlocked that energy in my body, the difference that that was making in my healing work and the difference that that made in the, in the other person's body that I was working on, I was like, whoa. And so I just knew I've been a avid pole dancer for forever and ever and ever. And it's one of my favorite ways to engage with the body. I think femininity and sensuality and, and sex and all of that is such a taboo. Even now, even now, it's such a taboo in, in our society and our culture. And I'm on that path, you know, to, to make feminine embodiment and sensuality something that's nourishing for not only, you know, me, but for my clients and for the planet and for the world. And, you know, it's, it's just such a generative energy that we have available in our bodies. And I just wanted to add, like, I love what you said right before the break, because orgasmic living, it's different for everyone, right? It's different for everyone. And, and the journey is finding out what it is for you. Because what makes you live orgasmically may not be what makes me live orgasmically. It probably won't be because everybody's body is different. There is no one formula, one thing. 
Um, and I think that that's also part of what I, what I get from, from the central feminine movement and from pole dancing for consciences is that constant journey of discovering, uncovering and revealing what is orgasmic for me and for my body. So it all plays together. <laughs> I think that's beautiful in that in order to have all of those energies show up, the feminine energies that you're talking about through the pole dancing and then those levels of healing that were going on so that not only could you heal your own body, but then unleash your superpowers within mm -hmm. to be able to facilitate that for others. Yeah. I'm just curious, what do you think is one of the most unusual and remarkable things that you noticed that somebody had as like an awakening or as a, as a healing that took place after doing the movement work that you do? You know, it's funny that you say one of, because there is one specific thing that I've seen sort of as a thread you know, in a lot of different clients, which I think is really interesting because to me that just says that it's sort of like up in the universe for us to change this and to really let it go for good. But I know that when women allow themselves to allow themselves and their bodies to have this energy, it's like this inner radiance, this inner brilliance comes to the surface and all of a sudden it's like all of your magic awakens at once right and in the letting go of the shame and the the contraction and the embarrassment and the wrongness around all of this energy you really do end up and the super, I mean, you said superpowers, like I've had women that all of a sudden like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I could communicate with entities or, oh my gosh, I didn't realize, you know, that um, I could like create money like that. I didn't realize that I could just ask for something and it would just show up, right? When you awaken your body and you activate that energy in your feminine body you become like a receiver of magnitude things just start flowing into your life and coming into your life in a way that's mind-blowing you know i was working with a client once and once and you know she really wanted like she wanted a new job but like we literally got really clear on exactly what it was that she was looking for and during the pandemic she like got a raise and then she got offered another position and she took that position because she knew it was going to lead to something else. And then, and then she got her like dream position with like even more money, like everything just starts to open up. Um, and part of that, I think is also your intuition and you start getting like super psychic, not only psychic as a being, but also your body's innate brilliance, your body's intuition and how your body can actually guide you and contribute to you creating more. I mean, I could go on and on. There's so many like miracles that I've seen uh, with my clients and with myself as well, obviously. Like I ended up in the Middle East talking about bodies and sex, I, <laughs> you know, That's in awesome. front of like the king of Bahrain. I mean, who would have ever thought? And even like, wow. I follow, yeah, I followed my body's intuition back to Los Angeles. And that's when I got cast, well, cast, I say the word cast, but that's when I got cast yeah. in the film on Netflix, uh, Strip Down, Rise Up. And that was just all my body guiding me, like, let's go here, let's go there, let's do this, we gotta go to Dubai now, we gotta, and I'm like, okay, wow. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the magic is, is endless when you really allow yourself to embrace and embody that orgasmic energy all of the time, not just those 10 seconds in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm curious about this King of Bahrain. What was his response to your information? That's that. I know I have a point of view about the Middle East where there's this point of view that's kind of a uh, world. It's kind of like a worldview that's kind of a put on there that there's a lot of yeah. oppression and there's a lot of, um, you know, misogyny. Like, so what what's actually really true that you were aware of? Yeah, it's really interesting because that is the the world view. And, and someone made a comment on my Facebook page and I was like, actually, that's not really correct. Like I felt the safest, most honored, like when I was in the Middle East, I love the Middle East. And 
I had so many people come up to me after when I spoke who were like identifying what I was talking about and, and like begging for the work that I do. Like, we really want this here. We really need this here. But also there's like a, um, a there, there's such a desire to include the body in a different kind of way right? Some of it may be a little bit more, you know, hidden, right? We're going to do this on the side over here. I actually just looked on and some like pole dancing studio in Dubai popped into my feed and I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, um, but the, the bodies are bodies are bodies. This isn't, this isn't, we all have bodies. <laughs> so we this do. energy and this work is definitely required everywhere. But I had a lot of people come up to me after and just like, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. And yes, I'm ready and I want it. And yes, you know, <laughs> I didn't get I to like talk too much with the King of Bahrain. I shook hands. He gave me an award, you know. <laughs> that's, hey, that's pretty freaking awesome right there, though. Let's yeah, face yeah. it. That's pretty, that's pretty influential right there. So that's Thank really you. cool, Patty. Um, I'm going to give you a question uh, to think about before we go to break, but, uh, you know, I think about bodies and I think about people who are classified as like able-bodied and then, and then they, there are people who have less abilities with their body or different abilities, we'll say. Uh, what would you say to the people who are like, well, I can't do pole dancing because I'm in a wheelchair or I can't do pole dancing because I'm missing a limb or something like that. So I'd, I'd like you to think about that question before we go to break, the different levels of what um, you know, society says as abilities with bodies and what can people do to kind of work within, uh, within whatever body they have. And, um, and I'll have a few more questions for you, but I think we'll start with that one because it's an odd one, I'm sure. <laughs> so we'll start with that. So um, everybody, you're listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network, and we will be right back after this commercial. Are you secretly a voyeur, wondering what's going on in other people's sex lives? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual evolution? Are you interested in people who are pioneers of different sexual and pleasurable practices? Lean in now with Melitza Yelenich, where she will entice you and your body to know your own pleasure zone. On the Pleasure Zone radio show with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich. You'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life, and quite possibly, other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Milica every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Interested in masturbating for money, copulating for consciousness, and pleasuring on purpose? 21 Days of Sexual Magicism with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich is an exploration of tools, processes, and actions that you can use to create more for your life, your body, your money inflows, and so much more. Graduated learning for all levels of interest. Learn at your own pace via video classes or join the yearly live class. Take a peek at www.melitzayelenich.com. This is The Pleasure Zone with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich. To participate in the program today, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email info at melitzayelenich.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, my sweet, sweet pleasure seekers. We are, you are listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network, and you may be listening to it on over 250 other platforms, listening, watching, listening to it live or via podcast, because that's where we're at. Isn't that exciting? So you get to enjoy us all over the place. You get to enjoy me wherever you are, in your bathroom, in your car, your bedroom, with your lovers, without your lovers. Like, how fun is that? Just like, bring me along. I'll be part of that crazy energy orgy that you're inviting me to. Thank you, by the way, for inviting me to that. And today I'm speaking with 
Patty Alfonso, who's been a guest on the show before, who's a brilliant energy worker and bringer of consciousness through bodies to the planet. And she is talking today about some of her great mad skills uh, with bodies. And before the break, I had asked her to just give us a little information for people who you know, would say, well, I don't know if I can do this thing, this pole dancing, this conscious movement stuff that you do because I'm in a wheelchair. So, or I'm missing a leg. So how do you, what would you say to people who have disqualified themselves and said, forget it, I don't qualify? <laughs> I would, um, I would invite you to ask your body what your body knows about that. Um, and let me just let that question sit there for a minute. Ask your body, because this is really for your body. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the distinction between like pole dancing for consciousness and some of the things that we see out there, because there's a lot of different things when it comes to pole dancing. There's pole dance competitions, there's pole dance artistry, there's pole dancing tricks, there's pole, like there's a lot of different nuances here, but the work that I do specifically includes the pole, but it is mostly about reconnecting you with your body, no matter where you are with your body, whether like you were saying before, it's an able-bodied or, or a disabled body. And I'm using quotes if you're hearing, <laughs> if you're hearing this in the future, if you're not seeing the, the videos, um, because our bodies have these amazing capacities for self healing, right? And the work with pole dancing for consciousness is about, is about tapping into those energies with your body and activating and awakening those energies. So it's not about like, yes, I could teach you some tricks, but that's not the main part of the work, right? It's not about climbing up the pole and going upside down and flying and doing all these tricks. Those are fun too, if you have a body that wants to do that. But the work is about finding out what your body wants how does your body desire to be touched and caressed? How does your body want you to be present with her, right? And that's not always about climbing up on the pole. But I've had many over the you know last how many years, 10, 15 years, right, of doing this kind of work. I've had phases with my body where sometimes what I just want to do is lay there and not do anything or just lay on my back and feel the floor supporting my back and like gently hugging myself or caressing myself. And then I've had phases where I want to fly around the pole all the time, right? Or my body wants to fly. And then I've had phases where my body really wants that muscular exertion with the climbing and the going upside down. So the work is really about getting present with what your body desires. Because that presence with your body and what she wants is what actually is going to contribute to you following that energy and allowing her to lead so that you can create more in your life. Um, pole dancing for consciousness. It's to create more consciousness with you and with your body. And we start with wherever you are. That's why it's not like I don't do pole dancing, you know, big classes with a lot of people because it's really one-on-one -on -one VIP work, getting present with you and your body, not 300 different bodies. That's a different thing. <laughs> so that's what I would say to people who are like, well, I can't do that. First of all, that's like the mind talking, the mind telling you, you can't do that. And again, it's a question for your body. If your body's like, wow, I really want that. Uh, then I would follow that energy and let her lead you to something more. Uh, pole dancing for consciousness, not for tricks or for money or mm -hmm. for, <laughs> or for, you know, uh, climbing or, you know, it's, it's to awaken wherever you are right here, right now. So um, the awakening is beautiful. I know that, that there is, there's an interesting time in in we we'll say like an awareness and and uh, self development where you're like when does this end? Like I started doing <laughs> healing work when I was like you know I was like 20 and I started going for energy sessions. So I've been like involved in this world for 26 years, yeah. intentionally like weekly, right? And and 
I know I have some clients who are like, but I've been, I've been coming to you for like four years. I'm like, oh, darling, it's been 26 years for me. Like, yeah. Life, it's actually life, right? And it's not that there's like a, an end to it. So I'm saying this because you might be like, well, I've done it all, but have you? Like, what if pole dancing for consciousness is actually exactly what your body's asking for? Maybe your body's yeah. asking for sensual movement. Maybe your body is like, oh yeah, no, I had traumas, but I'm aware of them. So I've dealt with it, but I'll just put them on the shelf because they're traumas and I'm caught. It's cognitive. I get it. Yeah. And what if your body is holding on to some stuff that would actually yeah. let go through this movement? Yeah. Bodies are phenomenal with holding on to trauma. Mm -hmm. They're just like expert trauma holders and there are ways to release it. And yeah. uh, as I watched in in the um, strip down, rise up. Did I get the name of that right? Yeah. Yes. I was watching, um, when I was watching that, even my my husband was like, wow, this is really fascinating because he'd only ever really thought of pole dancing as you right. go to the strippers yeah. and you pay the cash, right? Yeah. Um, so he, yeah, that was just like a really interesting moment for him. And we we're watching all this healing going on. And he's like, that's really incredible. Right after this show, he's like, do you want me to install a pole for you in our cabin? I'm like, yes, eventually. Like the cabin's not ready yet, but when it's ready, I, I think I would like a pole in the cabin. So yeah, we're taking, we're taking back the pole. We are taking yeah. back the pole. I remember when I first created Pole Dancing for Consciousness and I was tapping into the energy of the pole, right? And what did the pole as an energy, as an entity, as a thing in this world, like what was the pole asking for me? And one of the things that I got was that the poll was like, I have so much to offer the feminine body and they have just thrown me into strip clubs and these seedy things. And that's, I'm there too, but I have so much that I want to offer and give to the feminine body. And the energy was like, we need to get this out you know, into the world. And for anyone who's, you know, not really sure, I would invite you to just go on Netflix. It's on in like 150 countries, strip down, rise up, and that'll really give you a good idea of what this work is about. And I've been studying with Sheila Kelly and, and S Factor since, you know, 2007 or 2009. I can't remember. A long time, right? So a lot of my work is a combination, right, of everything that I've personally gained from working with her and dancing with S Factor, plus all of the other plethora of tools that I've also gained over the last 15 years. And I love that you bring that up, right? Because we're like, oh my God, when is it going to end? Mm -hmm. And it's like never. But what I would like to add to that statement for people who are having that energy of like, I've been doing this for so long. Like if you could add the energy of curiosity and wonder to that, because that's what we came to this planet for is to have this experience and to be present with these bodies, which are not, you can't have these bodies on any other planet right? These bodies are particular to this planet, the earth, and we all have chosen to be here in these bodies. And so if we can add that energy of curiosity and wonder, which is also like huge in orgasmic living, right? Being out of control. Hmm. I wonder what that would be like. And what if I do, oh, you know, and just like jumping in and letting go. Um, so the energies of curiosity and wonder when it comes to like, oh my gosh, you know, this journey that we have chosen to be on, with these bodies and how like really how much fun can you have exploring what would be pleasurable for you how much fun can you have seeking finding and creating pleasure for yourself and for your body and you can find pleasure in any situation any situation and that's the gift of being totally connected with your body right? Is that she can guide you in that, hey, it'll be more fun over here. And wow, that's the gift in doing that. And, you know, this is what we've learned so far, right? <laughs> it's, it's fun to have such a connected partner in the creation of your life. Like, I know my body wants me to have more. I know my body wants me to like have more luxury and more fun and more money, right? Because then she gets to enjoy all of that too, right? So Absolutely. she wants to contribute to me having that. And so I always play with those energies of curiosity and wonder um, 
and check out Strip Down, Rise Up to see. I love, I'm sorry, we're just like rambling, but I'm going to keep going. I love what you said about our bodies um, being masters of holding on to things. And for me, the way that I look at that is it's such a gift. It is such a gift because it's like the body, like trauma shows up, right? Trauma is created and there's a large spectrum of what trauma can be. Let's not get into all of that, but trauma comes into your life, right? Or you create it, however you want to look at it. And if you're not totally willing to be present with that trauma, then your body's like, okay, I'll just hold on to it. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to create some chronic pain right here so that when you're ready, then we can look at it together. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it because my body is my partner. So if I can't be present with the trauma and you have like a, you know, reaction, freeze, fight, whatever it is, your body's like, okay, no problem. Let's just put it here. And when you have the tools available to you, then I'm going to come back up and we're going to clear this energy, right? Because orgasmic living is about the willingness to be present with everything, even that trauma, being present with your own shutdown and how to like nurture yourself through that and your body's there to help you. So some of us, I think things come up like from the past and we're like, no, like you said, but I dealt with that already. No, if it's coming up, there's another layer. Let's get on it. Your body's like, okay, come on, let's do it. I'm ready. Okay. How can I help you? <laughs> that's how I look. That's how, that's how my body talks to me. So <laughs> bodies are excited to heal. We just sometimes think that it's like, there's wrongness in how it's showing yeah. up. We're like, why is there yeah. such pain? Yeah. Or you could get excited and you're like, wow, what are you, ta- what are you saying to me? Yeah. You're having There's this interesting curiosity. conversation. Yeah. yeah. So the curiosity is a beautiful piece because sometimes we go to conclusions, right? And those are usually mm-hmm. where those traps of, of not being able to move through things or have movement even when we like movement gets restricted because we're just like yeah. locking it in yeah. uh i had i have a question that's relative that I, i'll let you think about on the break as well and it it has to do with you know we're talking about being present and we were talking about trauma i'm just curious if there are some other things you've noticed while working with people that has them not be present with their bodies like what are some things people can kind of be aware of so they can go, oh, okay, so that just occurred in my life, get present. So some things that they can note or it's because it's also amazing to me how many people and I'll ask them if they've had trauma and they're like, no, but my mom tried to kill me when I was three. And then I got hit by a truck and my dog died last week, but there's no trauma, right? So people don't really even identify where they're experiencing traumas. So I, maybe we will, we will talk about the, the large trauma spectrum. Like, what is that really yeah. <laughs> after the break? Is that when you, cause that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it's big. That's like a whole show. We may talk about that in the future as well. <laughs> so let's tap into that though. So people can be aware of where they might be getting themselves out of being present. So you are listening to the pleasure zone here on inspired choices network. And we'll be right back after this commercial. Are you secretly a voyeur, wondering what's going on in other people's sex lives? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual evolution? Are you interested in people who are pioneers of different sexual and pleasurable practices? Lean in now with Melitza Yelenich, where she will entice you and your body to know your own pleasure zone. On the Pleasure Zone radio show with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich. You'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life, and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Milica every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Pleasure Zone with sensual movement artist Milica Yelenich. To participate in the program today, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email, info at MelitzaYelenich.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, my sweet pleasure seekers. Before I get Patty to give us um, a dissertation on trauma in five minutes... (laughs) 
because <laughs> that's how much time we're working with. Uh, I'd like her to just let everybody know how they can get a hold. How can everybody get a hold of you? Where can they find you? Where can they listen to more of you? How can they enjoy you? Thank you. Yes, um, I have a free gift for all of for all of you that are listening. You can download the six keys to living an orgasmic life at pattyalfonso.sexy slash six keys. So that'll get you into my email list, and then you know you'll you'll, you'll get a wonderful PDF so you can get started right away. And uh, and I'll, I'll be in touch with you. So yay! <laughs> Beautiful. And you have classes. Too, I, right? do, I, some, do, yeah. I do. I do. I do. I have. So right now I'm doing my central feminine movement classes. Those are Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. You can find information about that at poldancingforconsciousness.com slash SFM. Um, you, I mean, I have so many offerings, really. Just go onto the website and, and you'll find everything there. But yeah, thank you for that. Beautiful. I'm just so, like excited for my dissertation in five minutes. I have so much to say. I know this say. is going to be fun. <laughs> I know you can. No, Patty, you can do no. this. Dissertation okay. on trauma. Rock it. <laughs> so first of all, like we have to sort of undefine what we think trauma is because trauma, just like everything else in this world, exists on a spectrum. Right. For someone like me who is extremely energetically aware and energetically sensitive, trauma can be someone shooting me a dirty look from the other side of the room. Right. So there's that from like super, you know, you wouldn't think anything of that, but someone being like, it's like energetically. And then all the way to, you know, more overtly traumatic experiences like car accidents or rape or something like that. And everything that exists in between. So I have a lot of clients who are like, no, I haven't had trauma or, you know, but so-and-so did this. And, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Right. And trauma is anything that has an impact an impaction on your body and on your psyche, right? Someone who like is in a relationship with a narcissist and is experiencing a lot of gaslighting, that's trauma as well. We've just sort of defined trauma as like, oh, well, I was never raped, you know? Um, I haven't been in a car accident, something like that. But it's really like, let's, let's get that, let's broaden that definition because anything that has an impaction on your body and on your being can be considered like a traumatic experience. And then you also asked for, for I, if I understood your question correctly, you asked about like, how can people notice when they're having a, a reaction or a traumatic experience? Mm -hmm. So a couple of things there. Like if you're someone who's always like bumping into things or like if you're, when, this is to, to give you an idea that maybe you're not connected to your body. If you're like running into walls or like you find bruises on your, on your body, but you have no idea how you got them. That's an indication that you're slightly disconnected from your physical body. And then in terms of like, um, you know, if, if there are situations in your life and you're having reactions to those situations that are far greater than the actual situation, then that is an indication that there's some sort of traumatic response that's happening rather than being really present with what's, at, with what's actually going on. Like, let's say your partner, you know, you asked him to bring you a coffee and it was cold and you like have a meltdown because he brought you cold coffee. Like there's an imbalance there of what's going on and your response to it. <sighs> so there's my super quick dissertation on trauma and responses and body awareness. <laughs> that was freaking awesome, Patty. That's like, you know, that's the blog that everybody's looking for, I think. So if you can like get that little clip, write that out. I think everybody would like that blog. There, there is so much information you packed into that that is yeah. so key. And I spent most of my life walking around with random bruises and being that yeah. person who was like, I don't know where they came from. Or I like don't I'd even know what in, my name I'd, is. I'd run into a wall and be like, oh, wall, hello. Yeah. That's like you've totally cut off your body spherical awareness of, of space and what's around yes. you. <laughs> yeah, I did, a, I did a lot of cute things like that. There uh, I've only got like a minute left, but I'll tell one funny story about me and my disconnection to body. When I was in my early 20s, I was walking down a street and I, I saw somebody I thought I knew. So I was waving across the road. And in Toronto, they have these planters that are st like stone planters. And I just ran right into one, just like, boom, that's how out of it I was. And I ran into poles and like, 
you can you can like poles like not pole dancing poles like <laughs> just regular poles. Was, like woken up by the pole in different ways right so they're they're like alarm bells that go off you know yeah. and you're like wait a second what's happening so yeah find ways i love that because those are absolute thank you for listening to the pleasure zone with sensual movement artist Milica Yelenich. The Pleasure Zone returns next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have the best week of your life by choosing to be turned on and tuned in to your body.